Hi, Bill Edstrom here. This week I've been taking a look at Traction 5. This is a brand new release from Traction Software, and it's added a composite feature that wasn't in previous versions, so I just want to show you how it works. First, I'm going to set up a loop, and you can set up a loop by either dragging this, or you can set in and out points by clicking basically in the project, and you hit I to set the beginning of the loop, and O to set the ending of the loop. So if I click out over here and hit O, a lot of video editing programs look like that. You can also drag the loop markers, the in and out points, just like that. Well, I'm going to use two bars. I'm not really going to record music because I just want to show you the mechanics of how this works. And I'll enable my track for recording. Now all I need to do is turn looping on in order to do loop recording. I can do that with L, keyboard shortcut L, or I can click down here where it says loop. Now I want to rewind to the beginning of the project, which I can do with the home key and then R will start recording. I'm just gonna to talk to create my overdubs here. All right, so I'm talking, and you can see that it's recording. When it gets to the out point, it starts recording again. I'm gonna create a composite, even though this composite might not make a lot of sense. Normally, this would be a guitar solo or a vocal where you take multiple takes of a verse or chorus or something like that. Now, I think I've talked enough. I'm going to stop recording, which I can do by either hitting the space bar or just clicking down here in the corner on the record button. And now I've got a bunch of takes. Now in the previous version of Traction, you would be able to choose between those takes by clicking this plus right here. And you can see here are all the takes and it works just as it did in the past. But the new thing with Traction 5 is that you could reveal all the takes using the show takes. And I'm gonna go over here and click the Z and that makes everything fit back on the screen. Now there's quick swipe comping. I can zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel up here. You can also drag the time bar area back and forth. And then basically you can do the comping by just swiping over the sections that you want to keep. So if I swipe over this phrase here, you can see it winds up going up into the composite. If I want this phrase, I can put that in the composite. And this is how you can construct a solo or construct a composite vocal by doing all of these swipes. Now you've seen this in other software and it works kind of similar, but there's a few cool things you can do. These white dividers up here, you can move these back and forth to trim up the edge of these composites. You can also grab the actual window down here or the region and you can move that around to kind of frame it around the phrase you want, and you can stretch out the ends of those as well. Now, if you've got something on another take that you want to try out, all you need to do is click on that take, and that whole thing will jump up. So you can, once you've kind of windowed out the phrase, then you can click through while you're auditioning to see what all these phrases are. Once you've got what you like, then you can go right here and hide the takes and then play back the track. This is just gonna be kind of random talking. Solo or a vocal chord button make a lot of sense. I'm gonna create posit solo or a vocal chord button. Kind of weird, but um, anyway that gives you an example. The other thing you could do when you're showing takes is you can unpack them to tracks. So if you wanted to take those all out into individual tracks, you can do that and you can flatten the composite. When I flatten it, you're gonna lose all of this stuff here. There is a way to work around that using the edits or nested edits, but right now I'm gonna show you how this works. This is not reversible. So once you flatten the takes, you better be happy with what you've got up here. And it actually gives you a warning to that effect. And I hit flatten and now I've got one nice solid wave for all of the work that I did with those overdubs. So if you don't mind working destructively, you can do that. Otherwise, you can leave all those takes in there and then just work with the composite. So that's a summary of how comping works in Traction 5. Thanks for watching.